both of us got a crazy uh, three all in, um, which resulted in uh, Yamuda getting more chips and uh, Jim McGaddy losing some chips and Megalo, Megalo Donman losing some chips too. So um, that was pretty exciting. Um, yeah, this is interesting. So you want that? Oh, well. um. Yeah, so my strategy now is basically this guy's short. I'm gonna have to uh, just kind of. I don't want to wait it out per se, but hmm, this hand is kind of nice. The eight, eight, ten jack doesn't give me a low draw. Um, strictly high draws, um, but this guy's banking, so I don't know if he hasn't had. If he limps, that's not legit. If he raises, obviously folding. Um, he shoves. I gotta let this go. Okay, the LB we can call and now. Yeah, Muda called. He's smart, regular right here. He knows I can call. He can get me able to check it down more often than not. Um, now this kind of sucks because it would be nice for me to continue with this flop, but uh, oh well. Oh well. And I'm pretty certain Jim Gowdy's bung out. Oh, he. Alright guys, we took a, we're taking a break, um, but yeah, that kind of sucked, it sucked. Should have won it, I think. Uh, let's see here, what the deal, I think he had a low. Yeah. I think he had a low, let's take a look. He, yeah, he had the low. But I would have won with the high. And, uh, yeah. Oh, well. Alright guys, I'm going to pause the vid and we'll be back. What's up guys, we're back. Back to your fold. Uh, it's important to keep uh, track uh, of the next blind uh, jump, so blind uh, structure jump. So next level will be four minutes, and that means uh, we're looking at 2k, 4k, uh, which means pretty much every table short stack, except for Bui and Yamuda. And um, so that's, that's kind of important because pretty much we're uh, going to be pushing or folding um, and once we get to that point. Uh, yeah, that's the, the plan there. That is my plan. Do, 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 do. So I guess I guess what I'm asking myself is what hands am I going to be pushing with? Um, definitely not low cards. Uh, and uh, look for the player. So like this hand right here, definitely going to open up. Got in low here. Okay, we're gonna get it in. I, I have a feeling he has H deuce as well, but we're gonna get in here. I'm, I can't, or not I can't, but I won't hold uh, this here. Um, yeah. So, hopefully all our cards live, and we get to get it in. Yeah, we get it in. Cool, I got our live. Uh, we hit a nice flop, and yeah, cool. We take it. Uh, except for the deuce on the river, that kind of sucked. That kind of killed it. But um, yeah. <clears throat> I'm being made by Bu again. Uh, he's made him really wide. We all know that. Um, but not the hand I'm gonna take a stand with. <sighs> so we're in third place. Um. Got two shorty to my uh, right, the big stack to my left, which is, you want kind of the opposite. You want your big stack to your right and the shorty to your left. And, uh, so I'm going to have to fold this out. Uh, no reason to cute. He has a big stack. He's, I mean, he's calling any my raises. Pretty much the guy saw that he reached out my pot raise, my pot open. Um, yeah. So when you're folding, it kind of kind of sucks because uh, we kind of play the fold mentality. But uh, keep in mind, everybody was telling you the blinds. Um, now we're on the you know we're we have a short stack of right, which makes it easier for us because the blinds gonna go around through them first. And so Mega and Jimmy are gonna hit the blinds, and they're gonna set it's really short. And any shove that they do, um, these guys will be uh, calling. I would imagine LB would be raising. Yeah, he'll be raising here. And of course, he's calling this to this show. I mean, any pretty much any four cards. Uh, yeah, that's kind of icky. Um, yeah. 
So, Mega doubles up. Um, that's kind of not cool. Going forward this hand here, again. Uh, expect to see a walk here, actually. I can't see a limp fold. I see a walk or raise. Um, most likely a walk. Mega move kind of tight. Yeah, I think I see. Yeah, I'm probably. Why don't I, Wow. Flat. Okay, so Mega should bet out here. That's just my opinion. Check, check. Check, check. <laughs> I would have had the flush, but then not low. Uh, that kind of. That's kind of sad. Um, crappy hand to get involved with. He's been raising. Uh, again, you know that he min raised a wide range, uh, but I'm just gonna get in. I don't feel the need to get that in. Uh, maybe I'm playing kind of kind of nitty to that, but uh, yeah, I don't feel the need to get that in. And of course, I'm folding this here too. Uh, you know, El Buey has a really good spot here. He has the, the short stack to his right. I mean, the short stack, the the big stack to his right, and um, he's able to just just totally just obliterate. The final table here. Okay, then I'm getting it in. Uh, that's kind of obvious. He shove. He calls, which I know he's gonna call in any four. And he had a deuce, which kind of okay, cool. That's a nice card there for us. And we'll, we get we, we chop it. But uh, yeah. anyway, so that's fine. Pick up some much new cards here. We're gonna shove again. We got high cards here, and uh, LBU might. Sticking with me, but um, we're showing we're not gonna fold, obviously. And we're actually attacking Mega here, so it's most likely he might fold here. Good chance, <clears throat> but this accomplished two things. I mean, if you fold here, one, it takes away chips from him, two, it pads our stack, um, and that and the blinds are coming his way too, so that's something you have to take into consideration as well. I mean, the blinds are gonna hit him. I mean, the small blind can do it again, you know, so he can get uh, hit twice. Um, but the, what the, what I see my read on this table is these two guys, Muda and El Buu, are going to pretty much put over the table, which, you know, I'm happy to let them do. Could got a couple short stacks here. Um, and I'll just pick a spot uh, as I see fit. Um, just unfortunate that, uh, fortunate that we're not getting, we're not winning, we're not scooping the pots out right, but, you know, at least we're still in it. You know, so that's good. We're in the bigs here. We got <laughs> a deuce. Now, he's going to do limps. I think he's afraid of, of shove down. So, um, I think he wants to get active, but he doesn't want to, like, he doesn't want to, uh, get some ways. Uh, I imagine if, if this check to be in the bout. Um, I'm glad he doesn't. I'm going to check it more often than not. And I just get another free card. Uh, I'm going to check here. Of course, we're hoping for a seven. Um, that may give me a low. Uh, that's okay. We'll just check it and we'll chop it up. Uh, but yeah, I I think Mega might bet here because yeah, he's shoving stack. McDaddy <laughs> uh, left in a, uh, has a little bit more than behind left. That's uh, fine. That's what we want to be at. Um, so we can jump up one more pay jump and uh, pick our spots accordingly. Um, if I'm hoping on the situation here, uh, well, I'm gonna here. I can say McDaddy uh, raises. Um, I was hoping to, you know. Call and then the yeah, gonna call and we can check it down and then you know I'm a big happy family um, and uh, McGaddy bust out but that's not the case that's okay um, uh, yeah we got a fold now it's kind of interesting we probably have a nut over here we might have a flush draw here but uh, we'll see what happens yeah Amuda sticks it in and yeah so nut low and I think the flush draw. Uh, kind of hard here, guys, because um, we know my guy's about to bust out, and even though we're you no know, not we're trying to, we're trying to be, you know be in it to win it kind of deal. Same token, you know, it is pretty much a guaranteed pay jump. So, and we, given the nature of PLO high low, everything is, um, everything is uh, you can basically be chip leader and a fan of like three hands, you know. So it's not I'm not like. I guess I'm not uh, upset that I have like three big lines or four big lines. Uh, given the fact that we have McDaddy here. And 
And here we have this crazy action here. This is where you can make a big slip up. Um, it's hard to imagine seven eight not being here. Yeah, they both have seven eight. But he got quartered in the flash. So he jams, so we're gonna fold. It's essentially gonna be everybody in the pot. You know, we could argue to call here to get great odds, because everybody's gonna call. But the crap thing is if he just raises and then I'm committed and then he can call the commit and then he can call the commit. It's a it's crappy spot. Um even though we do have low cards and we have a double suited. Um yeah, I just don't like my spot there. Also, uh, if McDaddy busts out, <laughs> we're going to be big blind, so we'll put my commit to the next hand, as it looks like. Um, so, that's the idea, guys. That's the game plan. We sacrificed a little bit of equity here. Uh, sacrificed a little bit of um, chip equity to gain uh, pay jump. That's pretty uh, obvious. And uh, McDaddy busts out just like we planned it. And now, we're the short stack. And uh, we're shopping with any two here. Yeah. Yeah, you may know that he probably has any four. Uh, yeah. So we're going to ship here. We got two minutes left in this video before jumping into another video. So hopefully that is the case and you guys see a part three. Uh, if not, it was great playing with you guys. But uh, yeah, we're taking in. Okay, he had the load cards here. We got a hard draw, bank it, we need a hard, and uh, yep, that's it. Alright guys, it was great fun, guys. Um, I had a good time. <laughs> it was great to make the fun table, but uh, this is Focus Motion. Next time, we hope to ship one, and make a powerful day. Peace.